Today we're at Lulu in Helsinki to walk you through a very special cultural tradition here in Finland, the sauna experience. Find out why the sauna has become the bedrock of my country and a few tips on how to sauna like a true Finn. I'm Jasper Pakkonen. I'm an actor and owner here at Lulu. Though many may think of a sauna as a luxury, to Finnish people they're an essential part of daily life and a fundamental part of our culture. In this country of just five and a half million people, there are over three million saunas and counting. This is a Finnish sauna experience. Almost every Finnish home, vacation cottage, apartment building and hotel have a sauna. And here in Helsinki we have several public saunas like Lööd. Public saunas offer a social environment, sense of community and a way to pause in the midst of everyday life. Before you head to sweat it out in the sauna, make sure you're hydrated. The sauna is meant to be a cleansing experience, some people might even say spiritual. Washing before entering is essential, so jump in the shower before you get in. It's customary to be naked in the sauna, although in public mixed saunas, bathing suits are required. Once you're ready, come meet me in the sauna. Hello. Welcome to an authentic Finnish wood-burning sauna. I don't think there's anything as distinctly Finnish as saunas. Having a sauna is just as essential as having a bathroom or a kitchen or a bedroom. We start going to the sauna when we're only a few months old. Many people in Finland go to the sauna every day, but saunas are also a very important way to celebrate birthdays or parties or you name it. We always come up with a reason to go to the sauna. One of the most important saunas on an annual scale is a Christmas sauna. Sauna is actually an average Finns version of going to the church. There's about 3.3 million saunas in Finland. And it's safe to say that every single one of those 3.3 million saunas is unique and different. And people in Finland build saunas in, in the weirdest places. There are saunas on wheels and inside ice hockey arenas. But traditionally people have saunas at their home, either electric heated saunas or wood burning saunas, which is the traditional way of building a sauna. The most authentic way historically was building smoke saunas. So before chimneys were invented, just a room or a little hut with a pile of rocks and you would burn wood inside the pile of rocks. And before you start using the sauna, you'd open a little hatch and you open the door and you blow out all the smoke and all the walls would of course be covered in black soot, but there's no more toxins. We Finns value the smoke saunas, the most traditional saunas uh, at the highest level. Every traditional sauna needs to have water thrown onto the sauna heater's rocks because that steam raises the humidity level for a little while, for about a half a minute to a minute. The sauna feels a lot hotter, but the temperature doesn't actually change. The name of that steam is Löv. It's kind of like the spirit of the sauna. And each and every sauna has its own distinct load. Okay, I think we've done enough for this first sauna session. Let's go out and take a little dip in the Baltic Sea. How long you choose to stay in the sauna is up to you, but be sure to take enough breaks. The Finnish sauna method is heat, cool down, repeat. People typically sit in the sauna anywhere from 5 to 30 minutes and then cool down outside, in the shower, or if you want an extra rush of endorphins by taking an icy plunge. You ready? Remember to hydrate with plenty of water during your breaks. You can go in the sauna once or as many times as you feel comfortable, but always listen to your body and don't stay past your limit. The history of the Finnish sauna is difficult to pin down, but some say its primitive form dates back 10,000 years. Over the ages, saunas served a multitude of functions, having been the most practical place to wash during cold months, a sterile environment to give birth, my grandmother was born in a sauna, and in a full circle moment, a space to prepare the dead for their final rites. Though these days it's less common that you'll meet a Finn who was born in a sauna, it's still dubbed the poor man's pharmacy, proven to prevent and cure a variety of illnesses. Also in the wartime, in the Second World War, traditionally, building a sauna in the field was a very essential part of the way Finns survived. And nowadays when Finnish peacekeeping troops, for example, travel to a new location, the first structure that they build is the sauna. And in 2020, the Finnish sauna was placed on the UNESCO Intangible Cultural Heritage List. 
You may be asking yourself why you'd want to go into an 80 Celsius room and sweat it out. You'll just have to try for yourself. In the sauna you may be handed a vihta or vasta, a bunch of birch branches that you dip in water and then use to whisk yourself. This is not as weird as it sounds. It can help cleanse your skin, stimulate circulation and it gives off a nice aroma. Beyond the cultural and social aspects, the sauna can have important benefits for physical and mental health including improved circulation and immune function, muscle relaxation, stress reduction and better sleep. We don't really have a strong sense of hierarchy in Finland. It's a very flat social structure in terms of equality. But nowhere else than inside a sauna is that more true. When you strip away from your clothes, you leave your clothes and your wallet, everybody is basically bare and uh, quite literally bare. Stripped away from titles, from their wealth. The way Lölu was built was for both people in Helsinki to have that traditional sort of communal sauna experience and a place to meet up and gather and have spontaneous conversations in the sauna with strangers, but also for foreigners to experience a very traditional wood-heated sauna. You know, you can't really visit Finland without visiting a sauna because it's, it's not, you haven't experienced what true Finland and true Finnish culture is all about. We Finns don't sweat and run. When you're finished in the sauna, shower off with soap. Taking a shower will calm your heart rate and complete the experience of physical and mental cleansing. Then continue this experience with a cold drink and a snack to hydrate and restore the sodium that you sweat out. Conveniently here at Lölu we have a restaurant with plenty of refreshing options. I recommend the traditional fish soup. The most important thing now is to take some time to enjoy the blissful post-sauna feeling. Some Finns might love the sauna for the social aspect, others might love this experience for the physical and mental benefits. What's universally agreed upon in Finland is that the sauna is the perfect way to let stress melt away. It just might be the key to why Finns are the happiest people on earth. <laughs>